Welcome to the AACS Daily News. The Hebron Food Pantry is reaching out to the community for food donations and volunteer support for those in need. To get an update, we spoke with Executive Director Carissa Phillips. My name is Carissa Phillips. I'm the Executive Director here at Hebron Food Pantry, uh, where we serve about 300 families per week. Hebron Food Pantry allows for our clients to come in and shop by choice. So they're able to come in once a week and shop canned goods, fresh produce, and frozen meats, dairy, eggs, as they need throughout the week. So Hebron Food Pantry strives to feed every family that we're able to within the seven cities and towns that we serve. Because of everything that's going on with COVID and the shortages of food, we have had to limit the amount of foods uh, that our clients are able to take each week, um, but are still able to feed every family that comes through. If anyone is looking to donate, we are here Monday through Friday, 9 to 12. You're able to come and drop off food. Monetary donations can be made on our website, hebronfoodpantry.org. If you're looking to volunteer, uh, come on in at any time. We, have, we do have a packet that we require you to fill out. You can find that packet online as well. Just print it on out, come on in. We'll get you started. We have multiple things that we can get you started with. I started here just because I, I knew it was something that was in my heart to uh, give back and be a part of the community and something that I felt passionate about because I was in that position. My name is Heather Freaker. I'm the Vice President of the Board uh, here at Hebron Food Pantry. Um, we are here to support and serve our seven communities um, our, that surround us. Uh, for individuals who suffer with some food insecurity, we're here to kind of stretch those dollars um, that they're making at home and people won't have to make the choice between paying their electric bill or feeding their family. That's what we do here at Hebron. We are a fully volunteer-run food pantry. Every bit of food that gets put on the shelves is put on by a volunteer. We receive donations from Stop and Shop and Trader Joe's and Target and BJ's and Big Y. And we have individuals, friends and volunteers of the food pantry who go to those markets every single day of the week and pick up items that we stock ourselves with, whether it's maybe a pastry or a birthday cake that one of our clients might need. Um, we get dairy, cheese, um, those special treats that aren't just the staples that we can get uh, from the Greater Boston Food Bank. It's all run completely by volunteers. Our volunteers stock the shelves, our volunteers man our three distributions every week. We're always looking for great volunteers. People are looking to give back to their community in this incredibly meaningful way. You can reach out to us on our website and fill out that paperwork and we'll always find a job for you. One of the great things about the Hebron Food Pantry is that we have so many community partners, whether it's individuals in our local government, whether it's the VFW who assist us when we're doing food drives, whether it's the Voltora Foundation who helps support us in a variety of ways. And we're very, very fortunate to work with Lisa Piscatelli from the Barrow Area Interfaith Collaborative. We also work with the other food pantries in our community, St. Teresa's, St. Joe's Food Cellar, the Murray church, food and friends. We're just a big collaborative, ensuring that people who are hungry have something to eat every day. We have a very large population of individuals who suffer with food insecurity here in Attleboro. At least a third of our population here do struggle with that. We work really hard to provide those items for those families. We serve 75% of the individuals and families who suffer from food insecurity. We serve anybody and everybody that needs help.